Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex day trade setup for today. So, starting off with Euro USD, and uh, non farm payrolls had a pretty big impact on, uh, on price. <clears throat> so, you can see the breakthrough of a lot of potential structure that is also set up for me, anyway, a potential break of this flag. So, right now we are long we are looking for an opportunity to buy into this and i just want to get the levels in and then we'll get down to them on the lower time frames it is setting up a pretty big cup and handle which is that would be the neckline we'd have to get above that level for cup and handle to play out but if we drop down to the hour you'll see pretty solid move with the data so look left um, any one of these tails here is going to offer some sort of opportunity and we'll give them to you now. So what we're looking for is a bounce of 109.419 or 109.321. So I'm looking for a bounce off that, uh, even potentially as low as uh, 109.094. We're looking for price to come back a bit and then looking for an opportunity to jump in on this. I would advise you to look at this on the 15 minute today. Um, you can see already in a, in a position to buy. And if I just take this level here and add it to that tail there, you can see we're at a level right now that could work. So strong move, channel, break the channel, test the channel to the upside, which would be that bar up there. That also gives you the opportunity to move up. And uh, you'll be looking for 110, 129, possibly 110 dead. Um, moving on to US dollar Japanese yen, and uh, we are finally starting to break this strong uptrend, but we have big diversions here with a grouping or a separation of the oscillators and a potential crossover bring with this little rally this morning. So let's just get the level in that one. Okay, it's a bit chaotic by the looks of things, so move down to the hour. So on the hour, the trend is down. So what we're looking for is to go with the trend. And again, I would do this on the 15 minutes. So we are at an area structure right now. So here at 142948, or alternatively 148561, you're looking for rejection of there uh, for another move down. I would first aim for 142.327 and close the gap before looking at anything else. Um, and the reason for that is technically we're still in an uptrend on the eighth hour. Okay, so um, moving on to the pound and uh, British pound, Japanese yen. This is still going nowhere. You can see diversions, crossover, potential for a huge trap if you're trying to short this. And if you just look at that chaos i don't trust any of that the only thing that's possibly bearish here is the moving averages and then the oscillators but it's with the moving averages just going flat like this it's not something i want to be trading so we'll leave that one well alone um, and then euro british pound trend is down but we spent quite a lot of time down here last week most well, almost half the week going nowhere so if we just drop to the hour you'll see a little bit more going nowhere slowly there uh, this is the area you need to pay attention to, to be honest and that is 085552 look at the oscillators below the 155 so if we do get a rejection there it's probably worth taking a, a short and you would more than likely be looking at this area here at 085225. Uh, although if I look at the the yen, uh, that may not work out. So best advice here is the same as what's on Euro USD. Get on to the 15 minutes. Treat this as a range. Uh, so you know, if you start breaking this, let me just. It's going to be the high of Friday. So we start breaking this level here at 085543 and retest. Then you've got the potential for a trend reversal to the upside. So that is typical. 
you can see a strong downward trend on the 50 minute then all over the place above and below the moving averages so that is possible only thing that's concerning me is the oscillators on either side so yeah i think this one you need to just pay attention to the lows and highs of uh, friday because that's going to dictate which way you're going or it's going to reject channel it's just going to stay in a range so we need to get above that or below that before you start looking for opportunities anyway that's kind of me for today hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now